Suno Studio just got a massive upgrade. Check this out. This upgrade is going to change everything, and I mean that. Okay, so I've got this little project here with the beat and some vocals I generated. If I select these backing vocals and I go to track, you see we now have EQ. Okay, do you know what this means? If we have EQ, that means compressors are coming, reverbs, delays. Before long, this is going to be an entire actual DAW. And if you don't know what EQ is, that just means equalizer. You know, like you have the low, the trebles, the mids, all of that. So let's say that you have this vocal, but you want it to sound more like it's underwater. You would just take out the higher frequencies, and that's what gives it that underwater effect. And you know what, it, let's go ahead and do a, a full tutorial on EQ. So if you want to understand how this works, from left to right goes from low to high frequencies. You can see in this helper right here, it'll say 53 hertz. But basically this goes from 20 hertz to 20k hertz because that's the range of human hearing. And each one of these little points are called bands. I got bands. And so if you click on a band, like we're on band five right now, you have a bunch of different options of different filters it can be. A high pass filter is letting the high frequencies pass. It's just cutting out all of the low frequencies. Then we've got a low shell filter, which is this one. This is for bumping up low end. So if you have some bass and you want the sub to be a little bit louder, you would choose low shelved and bump that up some. Let's do this on the main beat so you can really hear it. If I bump this up, it's gonna make the bass louder. Now let me show you what that high pass sounds like. And then next we've got a peaking filter, which this is just going to give you a small range of frequencies that you bump up. So this is good if you just want like a little bit more in a certain section. Like let's say I want that saxophone to stand out more, I would probably bump up around 700 to 1000. Or you can even bring that down to get out certain frequencies you don't like. And then next we've got a notch filter, which is basically the same thing as the peaking, except it's taking down frequencies instead of rising them up. And automating peaking and notch filters is how a lot of like really weird neuro-based stuff is done. But uh, let's go to the next one, which is a high shelf. Which this is just like a low shelf, except you're bumping up the high frequencies. So it looks like that. So if you want something to be brighter, you use a high shelf. If you want something to be more subier, you use a low shelf. And then last but not least, we have a low pass filter. This is used for making things sound underwater. So if you drag this down. hear that in a lot of like Drake type beats. If you want one place where you can always refer back to for Suno Studio, I've got this ebook called Suno Studio Beginner's Guide. It's got everything you need to know about Suno Studio and you get free lifetime updates. It's actually about time to update it now since it has the EQ, but I'm gonna hold off a little bit because they're probably about to add a bunch of other effects. And if there's anything else you'd like to cover, let me know down in the comments. Check out one of these videos that YouTube thinks you'll like and peace out, brother.